fighting begin? Disney Pixar Monsters University. Read the story. Page to page one. Whole story. Mike Wazowski has wanted to be a scarer ever since he was a little kid. Now that he's grown up, he goes to Monsters University. MU has the best scare school around. I can't believe it. I'm officially a college student. Monsters University. On the first day of class, other students laugh at Mike. They don't think he'll ever make it as a scarer because he's too small. Then, Dean Hardscrabble flies in for a visit. She says that anyone who fails the final exam will be out of the scaring program for good. Dean Hardscrabble's a legend. She broke the all-time scare record. Suddenly, a new student named James P. Sullivan bursts into the classroom and roars. Oh, sorry. I heard someone say roar, so I just kind of went for it. Everyone is impressed. Hey there, Jimmy Sullivan. Friends call me Sully. Later, Sully gets invited to join the Roar Omega Roar, Roar fraternity, but Mike doesn't. This is a party for scare students, the ones who actually, you know, have a chance, Sully says. My chances are just as good as yours, Mike replies. On final exam day, Mike and Sully get into a roaring contest. They accidentally knock over the scream can that holds Hard Scrabble's famous scream, the one that broke the all-time scare record. Hard Scrabble gives Mike and Sully their final exam. She fails both of them and kicks them out of the scaring program. It was an accident. I'm so sorry. Mike decides to enter the scare gangs. He joins the most non-scary fraternity on campus, Uzma Kappa, OK. Then, he makes a deal with Hardscrabble. If Mike wins, they all get into the scaring program. Otherwise, Mike has to leave MU. But, the team needs one more member. The star player has just arrived, Sully says. Mike isn't happy that Sully's on his team, but he doesn't have a choice. First event is a race through a sewer full of stinging glow urchins. The urchins are toxic, just like human children. Mike and Sully race each other and leave the rest of their team behind. Luckily, another team is disqualified, so the OKs are still in the games. I can 
can get through faster than you, little guy. It's an obstacle course. What are you gonna do? Roar at it? In the second event, the team has to capture a flag in the library while avoiding the librarian. Art, Terry and Terry, and Don distract the librarian with a lot of noise, and Squishy grabs the flag. Mike is surprised. Way to go, Squishy! Okay, look, that wasn't real scary. Later, the OKs are invited to a party. Everyone's having a great time. The Roars even give the OKs a toast. But suddenly, paint, glitter, and stuffed animals are dumped on the OKs. The Roars laugh and say that OK is the most adorable fraternity on campus. The OKs are mortified. Mike takes everyone to Monsters Incorporated to boost the team's morale. Take a good look, fellas, Mike says. There's no one type of scarer. The best scarers use their differences to their advantage. Mike and Sully both admit that they haven't been team players. But it's not too late, Mike says. We just have to start working together. After Mike and Sully start working as a team and believing in the OKs, they do great in the third and fourth events. But Hardscrabble still has her doubts. She tells Sully she just doesn't think Mike is scary. Mike works harder than anyone. He's the heart and soul of the team, Sully says. But when Hardscrabble asks if Sully thinks that Mike is scary, he doesn't answer. He's not sure. soul of our team. The OKs and Roars compete in the final event. Each team member has to perform a scare inside a scare simulator. The team that earns the highest level of scream energy wins. Terry and Terry, Don, Squishy, and Art do well, and Sully's scare ties the game. It's all up to Mike. Go, Mike! Let the scary out, buddy! Mike's scare fills the scream can completely. The OKs win! Afterwards, Mike goes back into the scare simulator. He realizes that it was rigged. Someone cheated. Sully admits that he did it because he didn't think Mike could be scary enough. Mike is furious and hurt. I just wanted to help. Did you do this? monster wants to prove himself. He breaks into the Dortec lab and activates a door. He tries to scare a little girl, but she just smiles. Mike is devastated. Then he realizes that he's standing in a cabin full of kids. He runs into the woods. The little girl thought Mike looked funny.
about what he did. Sully goes into the human world to look for Mike. He finds Mike near a lake. You were right. They weren't scared of me. Mike says. Sully tells Mike that he's not the only failure. Sully screwed up more than anybody. Then the Rangers arrive. Mike and Sully run back to the cabin together. I'll never know how you feel, but you're not the only failure here. The door to the monster world has been deactivated. Mike thinks they can power up the door if they generate a lot of scream energy. They'll have to work as a team. If we scare them, I mean really scare them, we could generate enough scream to power the door from this side. We gotta get out of here. Mike coaches Sully on how to scare the Rangers. After the two build the fear high enough, Sully lets out a ferocious roar. The Rangers scream in terror. Back in the Dortec lab, all the scream cans fill with energy as the door reactivates. Mike and Sully burst through the door just before it explodes. Mike and Sully get into a lot of trouble with MU's president, who expels them immediately. I think it's time I leave the greatness to other monsters, Mike says. I'm okay, just being okay. But Sully thinks that Mike is more than just okay. You're not scary, not even a little bit. But you are fearless, he says. In the campus newspaper, Mike sees a job ad for Monsters Incorporated. Mike and Sully both get jobs in the mailroom. With teamwork and Mike's coaching, they eventually work their way up to becoming a great scare team. This is better than I ever imagined. I can't believe it. It's really happened. We work at Monsters Incorporated! Read the story again? No.